Okay, so I figured out why the car actually worked the way it did before, which I was surprised in when I was testing out the manual transmission. It's because the game put an update up that kind of helps you control the gear shifting so you can just shift in just start in kind of defeats this purpose of revving up you can just shift in the first gear with the clutch and so it's like an anti-stall which see no matter what Normally, I would have stalled here. But apparently not. Um, I am not sure if this is a good thing or not. I, um, I hope there's a settings I can change to, f to set it back to how it was before. Because I prefer the way it was before. Where I, if I mess up, it's gonna stall which is it's not stalling anymore so it doesn't feel as realistic but let's get on to the video that we want to talk about today today we're gonna be talking about the customization of this game and there is a lot of customization and i am very impressed with it first of all let's talk about the engine i won't go into details with all of these upgrades but i'll just briefly go over them and some of the things that that they do if i need to explain it like in this engine setup you can buy your engine as is in the in engine market and it will sort by compatibility when it comes down to engine swaps which means that i don't know if i can switch to incompatibles but it seems like I can't but it is amazing to the amount of different engines that are available for this car the name of them and it shows you what engines are in your inventory aside from that with each engine you have a lot of things you can customize from the engine block to engine add the fuel system the air system and not only that inside say the engine block there is different components of the engine block that you can customize like the pistons the flywheel the connected rod the block inline and these are things that i will go into in future videos it's just that because there's just so much things i have to cover this in a large video first and then i talk about everything in detail separately in videos in the future you can also install a turbocharger here if i want to I won't do much upgrades into this car. This car is just for me, like my daily car. Aside from that, the gearbox setup is where you go to change from automatic transmission to a manual transmission. You can buy your transmissions here in the market. My inventory have two because I have to buy a manual transmission. I just love driving manual transmission. Especially in this game, it's very satisfying to drive. You can change things like the clutch and the front LSD. And this one is a little bit different because there's this a basic swap. Even so, you can actually do your tuning right here. And the next nice thing is that the basis of the engine is a flat straight. Now, it wouldn't be like that on a graph. And I would want to get too technical with it, but tuning it would have been great to have a graph but given the fact that they have a dedicated tuning area in the game tuning is gonna be a lot more realistic and a lot more predictable than in let's say street racing where you have to like figure things out on the fly so this is gonna be really nice when it comes down to the gearbox setup the suspension setup is so comprehensive this kind of level of details rival a game that i really really love and that is forza horizon 4 and forza horizon 5 and the details that i'm seeing in this it means that i can build 
my favorite drift car in this game and it will work like how I want it to work. Like for me, my most satisfying drifts has been in Forza Horizon 4 and Forza Horizon 5. It's I have so much control. I always feel like I have so much control and when I what why I do when I drift, I feel like the input that I put in is the exact same input that would have happened in real life if I was drifting. So the drifting experience in Forza Horizon is honestly the best ever and I think this may may be the game that actually could do it if the physics actually match real life. We'll see about that. I I don't want to get too far off topic but when you play this game um, car parking multiplayer one there are times when it's like the car will just spin out by the slightest movement of the steering wheel and I hope that might not be the case in this game so I won't go over everything here and the details of it as I said I will go over this in a completely different video because of how comprehensive it is but this is a, has a lot of features like your alignment, your camber, your steering angles, casters, all these things I'll explain in future videos but I'm just going over them. Spacers which is good for giving the car a wider track and I'll explain that in the future videos of course. The anti-roll bars which stiffen it is better for oh my <laughs> Ooh, the springs actually too you can set up how soft you want the springs in the rear in the front how high you want the ride height to be here you can set it up to your bumps which this has to do with how stiff your your, your suspension is gonna be like how much movement you're going to have your springs to have like Obviously, if you're doing off-road and you want your springs to be very soft to actually take as much. Oh, I don't want to go into details, man. Because if I go into details, this video is going to be so, so long. And I'm trying to make it as short as possible. The fast rebound stiffness, your, your rebound, again. Oh, my. There is just so much things that I want to talk about. But if I start talking about it in this video, it's going to take so long. The maintenance setup. This is the something that impressed me the most. In the maintenance section, you have your tire conditions and it tracks each individual tire, the both right to left, uh, right to right and left rear and 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 front tires. It tracks the health of it. It tracks your air pressure of your tires, and this is important when it comes down to building a drag racing car or a drift car. And I'll go into details when I'm building specific cars for that in the future. Your oil condition, this is insane. I think this feature is going to be amazing. The um, Because changing your oil is something that a lot of people don't do when it comes down to maintaining their car. So this is going to be a good example to show people how important it is to keep on a check on your engine oil. Which is ridiculously good. Your car cleanliness, which... You want to keep your car clean at all time, you know. So that has to do with car wash and stuff like that. And your fuel, which is what you're going to need to go where you want to go in the game. It also keeps a lot of um, details. It's a six gear manual transmission. I have five, 5k miles on it already. Manual transmission, of course. And the weight is at that level. Visual tuning. It's a lot of stuff. Like, this is the body... And there's a lot of stuff in the paint. You can choose your paint and stuff like that. The rims. I think there's a lot of rims. And we can't really go through all of them right now. Because I'm trying to make this video as short as possible. Flags. I think these are flags that you can put on your car. Uh, this is like decade. Um, your brakes. I don't know why these brakes are here. But I don't know why this is not good because I think brakes have a definite effect on how should I say it 
your, your, your performance of your car and I think if they're just going uh, as a visual concept with this then um, we'll have to look at this a little bit because brakes have to do with performance and it's here in the visual area but it's kind of up and down because when it comes down to aerodynamics it is important to when it comes down to how the car body looks so that is another part of it this VIN section I haven't explored it completely I will need to explore it so this is this is crazy if this is what I'm thinking this might be like a drawing board for the how you, I want to make a setup and then I'll just this is a whole different video that is a whole different video that we're gonna have to go into in the future that is okay let's just let's just back out of that for now. this area at the back out of that is a dyno that is where you're gonna go for setting up the tune for your car and i will show you how to use the dyno in a video in the future so basically what this means is that there's a lot of videos coming out in the future so stay tuned for it now there's an announcement i want to make and is that i the place where i am at right now the wi-fi is not good so uploading high quality videos take like forever which is why I don't want to make this video too long or any other video too long. It's why I have not been on street racing either for a while as well because unless the internet situation improves, then I can upload more frequently and other stuff like that. But until then, I have I won't be uploading as much. But these Ah, uh, this this very much piques my interest and it's been a long while since a car racing game piqued my interest if you may or may not know I have been playing car X Street but honestly it has not lived up to my expectations in certain aspect because the quality is not good basically the rendering was done lazily on mobile I know the rendering might be a lot better on PC, on PC and Xbox, but I am. I don't feel like purchasing Car X Street. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. On Xbox in the future, maybe I will. But for now, when it comes down to mobile racing, it was street racing. There is an update that is about to come for street racing. I'm looking forward to see what changes in that. But. I had uh, think I was thinking of creating a car racing game for mobile and car parking multiplayer 2 kind of deterred me from doing that because car parking multiplayer 2 has pretty much done everything that I was going to do in making a car racing game and I think if this game lives up to what I am expecting, then of course I will enjoy it. And expecting Forza Horizon 4 quality is too much, but this is the closest competitor to that kind of game on mobile, and I am going to be playing this game a lot. I haven't moved from the garage yet because I've been trying to make these videos for you guys and check out everything. And after I've finished making all the videos that I need to make in terms of the car settings, then I will go out and do some driving around and stuff like that and start actually playing the game. So, thank you guys. I hope you enjoy. And don't worry about the questions about anything in the car settings. I will explain everything in detail in the future. So, don't worry. I'll see you next time.